Smoking that gas, got all that zine, she on the powder. Nowadays, I am on my head, I got sadder. Money got longer, speaker got louder, car got faster. Turned to a savage, pocket got fatter, she call me daddy. Smoking that gas, got all that zine, she on the powder. Nowadays, I am on my head, I got sadder. Money got longer, speaker got louder, car got faster. Welcome back season two of my Madden 18 career. I told you guys I was going to try to do as many seasons as I can for this series. And uh, if you guys didn't catch up on season one, make sure you check that out. The playlist will be at the end of this video. And uh, you guys might have noticed I changed my number from number one to number 12. And this was basically just to make a change for the second season. And because last year I couldn't wear the number 12, which is the number I'm usually used to wearing. So I wanted to switch that up. Which I did in here, as you guys see, I did play two games already in the season, but the file got captured, so I didn't have the footage for that game, but I did have the stats. In the first game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, Joe Flacco had a great game, 279 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He's actually had a really, really good start to the season. Now, as far as rushing-wise, I didn't have the game I'm used to having, especially not after my rookie season. I ended up with 21 attempts, 68 yards, definitely got outplayed by Le'Veon Bell. And another thing you notice though, my receiving game was out of this world. Seven receptions, 157 yards, and a touchdown as a running back. Now another thing I did have in this game, which was crazy, was I had a kick return for a touchdown in my first game of my second season. That's definitely something to talk about. And even though I didn't have the footage, I had to show you guys the stats. Now in our second game, we faced off against the Raiders. Now the Raiders had a very, very good offense. But we outplayed him. 153 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. So he started out two games, four touchdowns and zero interceptions. A lot different from the previous season. Now, my game, rushing-wise, I had a much better game than the first game. 18 attempts, 113 yards. No rushing touchdowns, but I was still effective as far as getting yards and moving the offense. Uh, now, you will notice, though, another kick return for a touchdown. So that's back-to-back -back games. Hopefully, I can continue that run in this third game that we're going to see today against the Chiefs. I didn't end up getting Offensive Player of the Week in that first game, 157 receiving yards. And uh, now in this week three, we're going to try to see if we can get another big time game again and also get a win. We're one and one. Um, and uh, in that last game, a lot of it came down to the defense, which didn't hold it down. We lost by barely a uh, touchdown. So in this game against the Chiefs, we're looking to go two and one in the season. Travis Kelsey as the Chiefs get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. Hello again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion. First play of the game. Now the Chiefs did end up getting the ball first, and in their first drive, they got a touchdown, so... It's our turn. We got to get a score here. So we're going to go with the run. Right there, we get a few yards on that first play. Let's see if we can get a good pass from Joe Flacco, as you guys see. One thing I'm going to look to focus on this year is the pass blocking. Um, even though I did do that in the first season, I didn't show much of it. And that's something I'm definitely going to change up this year. I want to show more pass blocking to not only you know let you know that Joe Flacco is making good passes or bad passes and uh, good and bad decisions, but just so that way it's not just me running the ball every single time, which I'm sure can get boring. So here in this first intense situation, we get a good catch, a good game, and we get to the nine. So right now we have an opportunity to tie this game up seven to seven. We're on the six on the outside, wide open on the pass, and I get a receiving touchdown, first touchdown of this game, and we tie this one up. Chiefs offense, hopefully our defense can get a stop on them. And uh, if they can do that, we will take care of the other side as far as getting points on the offensive end. Now, we get the ball back in the second quarter. Flacco with the ball, and that's an interception. So we were bragging about him this whole time, first two games, zero interceptions, and he has one here at our 41. Hopefully he can turn this around, though. You know, I still think he could have a good game. 
to to finish out this one this one game in particular. Now, right here, gets a pass on the outside to our tight end Gilmore, and he does go down at the 31. There's an injury on the field, but we're gonna continue on with this drive that we have so far, and we're doing really really well. Right here, we're gonna go with the run play. Great blocking. Make a move. The juke move gets the defender off me, but I step out of bounds at the 13. So seven rushes, 49 yards, another rush here on the left side, breaking tackles, two defenders, and we get a touchdown on the ground. First one was a touchdown in the air, now we get a touchdown on the ground. You know what I'm saying? We just getting it out here, man, trying to get a dub, trying to, you know, lead our team to a victory, put the team on our back, and uh, we're doing it so far early in this game. Now we get the ball back. Chiefs did end up scoring, so it's 13 to 14. Right here, we're gonna go with the pass on the outside, pass play, beating the linebacker with my 94 speed and my second receiving touchdown of the game with a play. Just my combination of height being a 60 running back and speed, having 94 speed, allows me to really make plays in the air. And right here, Flacco having a terrific passing game ever since that interception. And we get another touchdown here in the air to Mike Wallace. So now it's, we're up 28 to 13, pretty dominating game. And uh, we're getting ahead. You know, the defense really cannot do anything with our offense. I have 12 rushes, 81 yards, and a rushing touchdown. Um, definitely, you know, capitalizing after my previous big time rushing game against the Raiders. Now here, another passing play. Flacco gets another successful pass. I'm telling you, ever since that touchdown, something must have clicked because he has been making big time plays ever since. Uh, right now, it's first and goal on the eight. Still in the third quarter. We're going to go with the running play on the right side. Great blocking and another touchdown. So I have two rushing touchdowns in this game, one receiving touchdown, three touchdowns in total. And uh, this game is still not over. We still have a fourth quarter. Break that tackle and another rushing touchdown. This is crazy. And yes, for those that don't know, I am playing on all Madden. Flat out dominating play, 42 to 13, man. We really are looking like a championship caliber team here on the 10. We, ooh, with the truck. Break that tackle, and you guys know about the speed, man. Once I get a head start, ain't nobody can touch me. 90 yard rush for the touchdown. I am looking unstoppable. Went from offensive rookie of the year to now looking like a real force in the NFL. Here with 20 seconds left. A punt return. Uh, not looking to get anything here. We're probably going to end the game, but there you go. Good blocking. The whole left side is wide open. My speed. Can they catch my speed? The 20. The 10. Oh, I got a showboat. I got a showboat. Touchdown. Let's go. I pretty much scored in every single possible way as an offensive player to end this game. Two seconds left. I had a receiving touchdown, a rushing touchdown, and a punt return for a touchdown. So in the first three games, I've managed to get a return for a touchdown in all three games. That's, I don't know if that's ever been done before. You guys got to be the ones to check out the stats and let me know. But we end this game on a really, really good note. Our offense is looking really scary this season. So now looking at the stats, Joe Flacco, 15-18, but 258 passing yards three touchdowns he did have that one interception but 135 quarterback rating he had a phenomenal game now rushing wise 20 attempts 223 rushing yards four touchdowns i mean they really couldn't stop me i don't know what's wrong with the chiefs defense but they had no ways to slow me down receiving wise though the leader was chris conley with seven receptions but as you guys see man 91 receiving yards as well so over 300 total yards as a running back hell of a game and of course that punt return for a touchdown to end the game that honestly from the chiefs i'd be pretty upset because 
That's just flat out embarrassing. We were already up over 20 points and that game just made it crazy. So this first episode of season two has come to an end. Hope you guys are enjoying this Madden series. If you do, make sure you smash that like button and of course subscribe to stay tuned. Catch up on the first season right now as you guys see the playlist and I am signing out. Look, I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. Million dollar skins and billion dollar. I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. I put my heart in this world cause that's just all that I know. Look,